morning guys welcome back to a new what eat and day video today is actually going to be a vegan edition i try to do at least like one day a week where it's kind of all vegetarian or all vegan so i thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys what i yeah create and make <laughs> in a day it is 7 30 a.m i'm going to go for a little walk maybe grab coffee on the way it's just something i've been doing in like my morning routine which has just been really really nice i do this like once a week I'm going to grab some groceries and then let's go in obviously i start my day with drinking lots of water don't worry i didn't finish the whole thing yet <laughs> i still need to fill it up um, so let's go from our little walk got some emails done i'm going to make some breakfast i think i'm going to make a nice yogurt bowl with homemade granola i made earlier and i'm going to try this kite hill plain almond milk yogurt which is dairy free and vegan and with some fruits in there This is breakfast for today. Alrighty, it is almost 1 p.m. and I'm going to prep some lunch one of my go-to salads or dishes for either lunch or dinner are actually taco bowls i'm obsessed with mexican food i think it's so delicious easy to make and super flavorful so i want to show you which ingredients i'm going to use today uh, i found some iceberg lettuce in my fridge i have fresh cilantro from the store this is leftover brown rice from yesterday which i'm going to reuse onion zucchini going to add some black beans and then these green free tortilla chips so we'll have like a nice combination between some like carbs some protein and obviously just tons of veggies so i'm going to cook these up is ready here honestly it really like fills me up and it's just like such a well-balanced meal because it has like all the veggies in there it has brown rice some carbs um, healthy fats avocado and black beans for protein and some chips obviously so whoever says vegan food is boring is absolutely not so so them. i just got new cutlery these golden lot and 
I love them so much. They are actually, or they were on sale. So I will link them down below as well. They were really not that expensive, but they look very fancy. If you want to upgrade your kitchen cutlery scales. I love taco bowls. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. Alrighty, it is uh, three. 30 p.m. and I'm kind of craving a little snacky. I often also make in the afternoon another matcha. <laughs> I have like three a day and especially the one in the afternoon I always feel it's so much better than like a coffee because like coffee too late I just get this like weird cringy feeling. So obviously I am using Nekama matcha. This is literally by far the greenest and smoothest matcha I have ever tried. And then also, I want to give you guys a little bit of an update. These glass bowls, of which I got so many questions about, are now available for pre-order on our website. Make sure if you're interested to put your pre-order in because after our launch, they will not be available separate. They only come in a kit. So I will link down below, check them out and make my job with me. Matcha is ready. So good. I made mine ice today. Um, it's pretty warm outside, so kind of wanted to have something refreshing. I'm also craving a little bit um, something sweet. Let's see what we have in the fridge. I think you ate all the sweets already, huh? Yeah? <gasps> should we show that? Yeah, we should. Oh my god. Okay. This, guys, is something very special. We are working on our own matcha chocolates. And we got all our samples in. We jacked up the matcha in there a little bit. And honestly, it's so freaking delicious. And the color is just wow. Uh-oh. This is the matcha sesame. Look at this, guys. The Nekohama matcha chocolate. And then the taste is next level. The taste is just, it is next level. Um, which one was your favorite? We did um, a plain matcha, we did matcha sesame, and we did matcha um, crunch. Oh, with like uh, crispy rice um, in the inside. I think mm. our favorite across the board was Definitely the black sesame. We tripled the amount of matcha that's usually in a bar the first time. And just still didn't taste, it tasted like matcha more than any other treat we'd had. But we decided to try it double that. So we have the equivalent of five cups of matcha. <laughs> and in it's a bar, right? Good. Per bar. So oh. two pieces, three pieces max mm -hmm. per night. Those is our matcha, matcha sesame. It's really, really delicious. I can't eat them all because we need to use them still for a little food. But that is so delicious. I'm actually curious to hear from you as well if you would wanna like try out matcha chocolate. Honestly, we are obsessed with love it. Also another snacky I found in the fridge. This breakfast item from Sakara Live, which is actually clean eating like a meal delivery server. These are sexy cinnamon rolls. So I'm just going to grab one of these. Made of like almond milk, coconut oil, potato flour, coconut sugar. Look really nice. Wow. Better than this for an afternoon snack. I love this one. Only when she feeds me. Only when I'm with you. Cinnamon. Oh, it's a sexy cinnamon roll. Sexy oh my cinnamon. god, no wonder it's so it, good. It's even called sexy cinnamon roll. I know, that's why it's so good. Oh god. Mm. Alright guys, I'm gonna finish my matcha. 
and I will see you guys for dinner, I guess. Alrighty, it is dinner time. And for today, I wanna make another one of my favorite dishes, soba noodles with tofu, which is like a nice source of protein for today. I've actually made this dish during one of my first live cooking shows on YouTube. Not sure if you guys have seen it, uh, but it's kind of like a different variation. So let me grab the soba noodles. And by the way, I recently organized this and I finally got these super cute jars and it's been organized ever since. So I would highly recommend. I actually got these from um, on Etsy. I think this is called the breakfast pantry or something like that. But yeah, it's very cute. So we're going to use soba noodles, which are 100% made out of buckwheat, which is an amazing source of fiber and also gluten-free. We're gonna use tofu and for the veggies, asparagus and some shiitake mushrooms. We're first going to prep the tofu because that takes the longest and then the sauce for the soba noodles. Since I went to Japan and I tried the soba noodles there, they either eat it like hot or cold and I just found it so so delicious and it's sometimes like a nice substitute and change it up from like a pasta or like a spaghetti or something like that. I dried my tofu block already a little bit so it's like easier to grill. Tap the tofu block with a paper towel to get the moisture out. This way it's easier to cook and it absorbs more of the flavors. Cut the asparagus in big pieces and cut the shiitake mushrooms. Add olive oil to a pan and gently place the tofu in the pan. Add some soy sauce and cook each side evenly until golden and brown. Okay, so while my tofu is grilling, I'm going to prep the dressing. And this is actually what makes the, the dish just really, really delicious and also very healthy because it's mainly made out of tahini, which I could literally scoop out of a jar. For the dressing, add tahini to a food processor, honey, sesame oil, olive oil, lime juice, and soy sauce. I will link the recipe down below. When the tofu is ready, place it on a plate. Add extra olive oil to the pan and saute the veggies with some salt until soft. Boil water in a pan and add the buckwheat noodles in here. They only need to boil for about six minutes, so they're done so quickly, which makes this a quick and easy recipe. I give them a quick rinse with cold water and then mix the dressing into the noodles and it's ready to be served. Our soba noodle bowl is ready. So tons of veggies, some tofu protein, and then soba noodles with like tahini dressing. Super colorful and delicious. I got another one from Max. Taste test. Do you remember this recipe? Yes, during quarantine we made this for Jason. And I think this was, yeah, this was the favorite recipe of Jason and Max during yeah. quarantine, so. And it came out a big bowl from Houston. It's that, that good. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still tasty. Still tasting. Alrighty, so it's end of the evening. I made myself a cup of tea. It's almost finished. There's something so comforting about like Earl Grey black, black tea with honey and milk. Uh, I put oat milk in there. Reminds me of like my childhood and I kind of want to go to sleep right now. So I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see me do certain types of recipes. Um, and also don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Good night.